Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you really really quickly a new feature that has been released just yesterday on Axure RP10 Beta. Uh, that is the possibility to import data into repeater using a CSV file. So if you are interested as usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like and comment and that's it, let's get started. So here we are inside Axure. Actually, no, not Axure, uh, because I need first a CSV file to test. And actually, what I did is to Google, mm, what I found is this uh, nice uh, uh, website that is uh, called E4XL. Wow, good because uh, you can download, they have uh, 20 different uh, templates to download and they have different uh, um, uh, number of records so that you can test, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, the performance of, of a tool of uh, importing files depending on the on the size of the uh, of the CSV file. And that's that's amazing. One thing to remember before doing this is that sizes matters at least now in Axure sizes matters okay so let's see why so I downloaded this 100 uh, uh, records uh, CSV file and let's go into Axure so what we have to do it's really simple we go on the, this new repeater table we mm, drag and drop this element into the canvas and and woo, you see here you, we have this import CSV. Wow, new feature. Now I can uh, select this uh, 100 sales records. I can open it and of course it asks if I want to import it. Of course, yes, import and boom. It's actually really, really quick and voila guys here in the data table now we have the data coming from a csv file Whew, it's mind-blowing really mind-blowing so and and it's everything correct why i say before to be really really careful about sizes why because i already tested this um, uh, this import with different file size and i can tell you that if we arrive with a CSV file with more than 200 records, I mean 200 lines, I would say, well, it, it gets stuck, okay? And, and usually I have tried different, uh, different time and actually um, extra crash, okay? Every time, every time, but, but, okay, it works, it works. So what we have to do now is it's just, uh, it's just uh, connecting our widget to the right columns and that's it actually, it's, it's amazing. So what we can do here now is to first we have to mm, resize everything here, okay. And uh, we have 14 columns, so we are going to put uh, inside here 14 different uh, text widget okay to put the space for everything right so i will uh, do this after six and six or oops six and six or 12 and now uh, we arrive to 14 with this new to last okay so the only thing now that we have to do again is to uh, basically connect our widgets as you can see now uh, on on columns we have this uh, functionality this connect widget and the also good things is that when you hover over one uh, elements as you can see it's highlighted so this happened also before but this is highlighted so you know exactly where you are putting this data so just to select for example i don't know the uh, this one uh, for the fourth uh, okay this one for the fifth uh, and uh, this one for the sixth 
okay let, let's say that that i did everything okay and everything is filled from the csv file that's amazing isn't it it's it's mind-blowing right finally finally they did something that is really really cool uh, and they are improving a lot actually good job and also this video is finished i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me as usual subscribe to the channel activate the bell put a like a comment and see you in the next video bye